Hey everyone, it's Wednesday. I don't know why I'm so happy. It's, it's Monday for me. Ugh. Anyway, welcome to 33 Gondola Way, also known as The Brick. I don't know if it's known as that, but it looked like a brick. <sighs> I think this was Max's, Max's attempt to make like a modern sort of industrial style home. It even has like a very open floor, the second floor, you know, it's very fancy, very, but then I had to go like, nah, bricks and pediments, woohoo. I actually did this one before um, Amelia's Closet, the live stream I did yesterday, so yeah, there's apparently some factory, uh, <laughs> factory buildings as well, but the same pediment, hmm. Like, my Blue Water Village is not going to be super cohesive, cohesive, but you know, who cares? I'm just, I'm having fun. <laughs> so this lot, this is going to be a free parter. It's been a while since I had one of those, but uh, uh, decorating took a little bit longer than I expected. Of course, this video, just the exterior is uh, a little bit shorter. Well, yeah, it's all right. You can see I had some difficulties with the windows. I really wanted to use those um, add-ons for the New Gear City window set that came with it. Ooh, I don't know which, which expansion pack they came with. Anyway, they're really cool, really, you know, the kind of factory living, the industrial style, and they, they look really nice. and. Yeah, I really like the lot. The, it's very simple, it's, you know, like I said, just a <laughs> giant ass brick, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with uh, how this one turned out. So I did move the front door to the side because, you know, I wanted to keep the, the, the side facing the road to keep it a little bit more symmetrical and I don't have any, um, new gear city add-on doors so yeah i just use those um wind keeper ones you know one as an entrance door and another as a you know entrance to the garden so yeah this lot had um actually has some great potential like the whole split level idea it's really cool it's just you know, Max is trying to keep it under 20k, so it's very bare bones. And the silly OG is nice, it's just, it doesn't really fit Blue Water Village, in my opinion. It really looks like something that should be in downtown. So that's a little odd, but you know, we'll run with it. So here I'm trying to pick out, you know, a little bit, a floor that looks a little bit older, you know, kind of used, a little bit grungy. Not full on grunge, but don't worry. Just a little. Of course, you know, I should have guessed it. I'm gonna use all of this floor. It's one of my favorite floors, I think. Curious B made it, or, you know, and I think another person also made a version of that. It's, um, it's a really nice wooden floor. You know, it, it looks kind of grungy but not like it's not too gray or anything you know or or very bright it just looks kind of used but still it makes sense that you know something like this a factory would have that kind of you know floor uh so as you can see i really wanted to put in like a spiral staircase but you know of course the game isn't that smart so you'll have it's annoying with the floor, so I finally settled. Oh god, oh, get tired. Maybe I should, shouldn't should stop recording these before dinner. I was I was so tired. Anyway, so yeah, I just settled for uh, normal stairs and you know some railings. It's not gonna be these. It's just gonna, of course, gonna be. The Holy Simoli industrial stairs, you know, I should have known. Of course, matching fence, and they uh, that fence has a really nice uh, edge cap, so 
it's really one of my favorite fences. I use it all the time in very modern lots, and I really wish there were more fences with like that little cap, because the floor edge is very ugly. I know there is like mods with all sorts of colors, like if you want to have a grungy one or a very clean modern one or a wood one or whatever, a stone one, uh, you can get those, but all of them are just not. You know, it just depends on the lots. Um, you know, sometimes I want a grunge one, sometimes I want a white one, so... That's why I really like it when the fences have those, um, edges. Anyway, that, uh, what I just did was, uh, you know, break a wall off a very small garden. This is, of course, the little entrance. I just felt like I had to put, like, a little little oh, fence around it. God, it's bad. That's fine, like 10 minutes ago. Maybe recording makes me tired. I don't know. You know, just sitting there talking to microphones. It's very exhausting. Anyway, the garden. Or the, uh, you know, I put some like wild plants over to the left and I wrote the garden that I made. It's very small, simple garden as you will see but I really really like it and again of course I use lavender plants oops and again rocks I really like the rocks big fan so yeah this is a little bit more wilder I did I tried to you know keep it a little bit more simple but of course as you can see I still ended up using <laughs> some plants Ah, I can't help myself, it's so bad. I want to put a couple of flowers down. They look super nice, I really like these flowers, they're very cute. Gets a little bit more texture to the floor, you know. You can use drain paints, but they're still, at the end of the day, still very flat. Mm -mm. So here I'm going to start the uh, little garden. Uh, I just put these really small like little corners. Put some planting there. First I had the tree as you can see but you know I removed that later. Yeah, yeah these dol dolphiniums. Yeah for some reason I ended up with purple. Purple's the color. The color of the garden. Yeah. The <laughs> I, I didn't bring that color inside at all, so... Oops, not very consistent. <laughs> ah. So, yeah, how was your day? My day was fine, I had, finally had my introduction day, the official, you know, tour for the, for the building and, you know, some talks about safety, blah blah blah. I finally met uh, another co a new co-worker who's going to join us from now on, you know. They uh, didn't want to um, work, uh, have us both at the same time because that would just take too much energy for them, you know, too much uh, people having to work us in, so to speak. So, yeah, I met her. She said, <laughs> I really like her and we were very similar in thought and uh, in our likes. So that was her. Uh, so yeah, today was an okay day. I said, but I got to go home very early, like uh, two two hours early in the normal. So that was nice. I was very happy about that. <laughs> Feels so nice being home early. So now I can record uh, some audio. Anyway, what point are we? Okay, we're there. Yes, architectural details. I never used these pipes and I was like, this is an industrial lot. I have to. And then, as you can see, I also tried to use these um, air ducts, but I, I, they just didn't work well. But I also tried to put some of the pipes outside, but I just couldn't, eh, just didn't work, you know. I think this is the first time I've used these. 
well, since I started doing these the, the makeovers. So that's quite interesting. But then again, I never. I think this is like the first kind of industrial esque lot I have worked on. You know, that was already that kind of style from uh, as what Max is, you know, um, designed. Yeah, as you can see, I put in, tried to put it on the outside. Doesn't really work. Um, I really wish there was like a functional uh, gutter. Uh, is it a gutter? No, it's not gutter. Where is a gutter? No, gutter is what's in the floor, right? Um, what do you call that? Like uh, the draining pipes, like rain pipes and... No, there are some sets. But, yeah. So yeah, I, I remembered I have one of those and I have not used it. I don't know uh, those um, awnings thingies. So... Yeah, I thought, you know what? This is the perfect time to use it. I was uh, very strongly, strongly debating where the fence go. The fence should be um, big as well, but you know it felt like too much, um, just too big. Like you would, I needed a little bit more of a, a little bit more like light and sky, and I tried to you know, green it up with the bushes, and I finally did not go for that idea you can see you're testing it out like going like, nah it's not it either try to break that one up just trying to create layers but I finally settled for you know the one with the pergola pergola that's it no it's a pergola I don't remember this part is going to be big and the rest of it's going to be small I felt that that would you know look good enough I wanted to, you know, try to spruce up the little front area as well, but, you know, eh, I just settled for the small concrete ones. Looks so nice. Anyway, I think this is the end. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.